Hi, everyone. Um, for our research project, we did motor neuron diseases and the impact of genetics and socioeconomic factors for um, the spring 2023, 2024 um, bibliometric analysis project. So my name is Natalie. I'm the associate associate for this pro uh, research project, and I'm a recent UCSD graduate, and I studied human biology and minor in psychology. Um, hi, my name is Shreya Burra. I'm the co-associate for this research project. I'm currently a freshman at UC Davis, and I study neurobiology, physiology, and behavior. Hi guys, my name is Suhani and I am a freshman at Monta Vista High School. Hi, my name is Sai Hinge and I'm a freshman at Oakland Mills High School. Hi, my name is Angelina. I'm a third year at UC Berkeley and I'm studying neurobiology. So for the agenda, we'll be going over the background of the study, objectives, methods, figures one through five, results, and conclusion. So this is the background of our study. Uh, motor neuron diseases encompass a range of neurodegenerative disorders characterized by the developing dysfunction and loss of motor neurons in the brain and or spinal cord. And the intersection of socioeconomic and genetic factors are taken into account and the conditions that influence the well-being and opportunities of individuals. So the main purpose of this research poster is to outline the volume of the impacts of genetic and socioeconomic factors on motor neuron diseases. Um, and we're observing citation and publication trends within our 100 most cited work. Um, and that was crucial to our research. Also, the scope of our study was to cover the intersectional parts of motor neuron diseases and um, to understand the mechanisms of motor neuron diseases, both within genetics and the environment. And our main research question was, what role do socioeconomic factors in our lifestyle versus genetics play in the development of motor neuron diseases? So looking at the methodology, we were using our programming language and our studio, and we also gained access to BiblioShiny, which is a web-based software that allows us to visualize and interpret multiple forms of data. Um, and they help us with finding different intricate bibliometric analyses. Our main source for data collection was the 100 most cited articles and journals regarding motor neuron diseases, and that was obtained from the Web of Science. And the Web of Science is a database that um, gives us access to multiple articles, academic journals, and papers that provide publication information for research and citation purposes. After inputting data from the web of science, we access intricate and informatory figures for our research. Uh, so this is our first figure, uh, which is about the senior authors with multiple papers uh, of the top 100 most cited papers. Um, here on the x-axis, we have the frequency and then the y-axis are the senior authors. Uh, this figure was created in Google Sheets, but our data was obtained from the 100 most cited uh, papers. And the highest number of entries of a single uh, publisher, as you can see at the top, was six. So figure two looks at the senior author institutions with multiple papers of, of the 100 most cited papers on motor neuron diseases. Um, on the x-axis, you can see the frequency and on the y-axis, you can see the senior author institutions. And the highest number was eight and that was from Columbia Medical Center. 
Our next figure is figure three, which is journals with multiple top 100 cited articles. And like the previous two figures, this was created in Google Sheets, but we received our data from Web of Science. And on the x-axis, we have frequency. And the y-axis, we have journal title. And um, the journal with the highest frequency is the American Association for Advancement. And it has about four. Um, this figure was created in Google Sheets as well. And it outlines our entire research process and where we went from from our initial search in Web of Science, we conducted a preliminary search, which resulted in 179 articles. There, From there, we um, filtered it down to 100 eligible articles for our study and 79 non-eligible articles. And from our eligible articles, we have 90 articles and then 10 review articles. And for this figure, we have the most frequently mentioned keywords for the top 100 most cited articles. On our x-axis, we have the um, names of the keywords. And on the y-axis, we have the record count. And as you can see, the keyword with the highest um, record count is neurodegen neurodegenerative diseases. And that's at almost 40. Our results showed that certain genetic mutations that have been identified as significant contributors to motor neuron diseases, the ones displayed are critical genes that are often affected. And research has shown that the cause of motor neuron diseases may involve complex interactions between genetic predispositions and socioeconomic factors. And finally, our conclusion shows that through many different softwares and platforms, such as BiblioShiny and Web of Science, we gained in-depth research on how socioeconomic factors within lifestyle and genetics impacts both the development and progression of neurodegenerative disorders. Thank you.